Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and I'm going to talk about one of my books blog. And we're going to discuss creating a spherical panorama in paper vision, one of my books blog posts. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to create a spherical panorama. Let's take a look at it real quick. Come down here and click on it. And there's the panorama, and you just click to wherever you want to go. And toward the center, it's slower. And you got to decide it goes faster, and you can go all the way up. And you can go all the way down. And it works pretty smooth. Now, one of the great things about panoramas is that they are easy to make. Essentially, all you do is you res a cube or sphere on the stage and you put an image on it. You then place a spinning camera in the center, and that's all there is to it. The secret behind a great panorama, however, are great panorama images. And in an upcoming series, Amanda Verrett, one of my graphic designers, will be doing a whole uh, tutorial video series on how to create fantastic spherical images using a fisheye lens and various imaging tools. However, before that series, I'm going to show you how to do the coding. Now you can get this demo at www.professionalpapervision.com forward slash demo forward slash web forward slash spherical pano. And you can download all the source code from my Google code at code.google.com forward slash p flex3 cookbook1 and choose spherical panel zip or just go to the web blog link and click on it and all this stuff will come up. And of course the YouTube we're doing now. As I've said, coding a panorama is simple and you can download the full source code from my Google code, of course. And I'm going to show you how it's coded in the button below. Now you can read all this on my blog. Let's actually go to the actual code, the flex code right here. This is done in Flex, but it's very simple to essentially transfer this code to Flash as well. You have your typical import statements here, right, in your Flex program. And then below that, you, you could declare your typical render and scene and camera and viewport and a panel material and a moving material. And then here's the first important part of the code is you embed the panel inside the Flex project. Now, it's an SWF, and we'll show you in that upcoming series by Amanda how to create those SWF panels from your panel spherical images. Let's bring up the uh, let's bring up the nav menu here and show you where the panel is. So I'm going to bring up one of these projects under Panorama in your Assets folder in the SRC. There's your panel, and you can see that's being brought in from the Assets folder. Just want to show you that real quick. And then you do your initialization of all those viewport cameras, uh, canvas. And once you've done that, the first thing you want to do is declare, in a sense, or create that material. So from the panel assist, where does that come from? Panel assist comes from, that's right, it's the class, the embedded class of the SWF. And from that panel assist, you make a moving material. And then what you do, you come down here, you create the sphere primitive, and you put the moving material right on that sphere primitive. And then you set your camera right in the middle of the scene. And you adjust its focus and zoom until it looks correct. And then you add a few listeners. Let's go back up to that. Here's my on-frame listener. And I have a few uh, viewport listeners, pretty much when the mouse is down or mouse is up. What I want to do is click and then move. So it's going to listen for that mouse up, mouse down. Set a parameter. Is the mouse up or is it down? And if it's up or down, then it'll start rendering and move that camera around. And here we have the last part of the uh, panorama, the camera rotation Y and X. And you can see if, if that mouse is down, you're going to rotate based upon where that mouse is on the stage. And pretty much that's all there is to putting a panorama on the stage. It is super simple and uh, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. So this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University. Hey, download the code, play around with it, have some fun. Uh, experience those panoramas. They're easy to make. The, the, uh, I think the difficult part is really making good images. That's the time-consuming part. Uh, and the code here, of course, should help you al along. So thanks a lot. And here it is, Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.